inertia is a structure that's built off the grid, uh, utilizing a tire foundation for the for the uh, main structure. Um, the tires are formed like bricks, stacked like bricks, and um, when you put these tires in a uh, brick-like formation, you have to pack each one solid with a sledgehammer with dirt. Um, about three yards of dirt we put in each tire, 350 pounds. Today we're cobbing the walls. We're filling the tire voids uh, with cans and dirt. The cans are just for extra in, in, uh, filler. And then the dirt, uh, we actually the clay that we mix with straw, uh, bonds the cans in and it forms like a, a, a concrete finish. It's just as strong and you know, it's, it's solid once it dries. There she comes. <laughs> Hi. Why did you decide to build it uh, well, we wanted to build one in 98 before we uh, had our first trial. We planned on moving to Taos County, New Mexico and building our first airship, but uh, just never worked out, so we stayed around and um, we just want to be off the grid, fully sustainable. You know, sustainable farm is what our goal is. So. How long have you been working on it? Uh, it's been three years. It took one year to pack the tires alone, one guy, so it was a lot of work, a thousand tires. We want to try to get it sealed up and done by April 1st. Uh, then after that, we'll still have solar to go, get the solar panels. The, the airship faces south um, for in the winter, the sun uh, shines directly into the airship and heats it. And then being underground on the back side of the berm, uh, it holds about 58 degrees underground. And then with the air inside the airship, it, it, you know, it distributes out evenly, about 70 degrees. What are you most excited about this place? Once it's done, I mean, it's probably going to be a nice accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, good accomplishment, just education. You know, we like to teach you know the young people especially that you don't have, need traditional 30-year mortgages. You know, if, if you have a little bit of help and you volunteered like we did out here today, um, you can build a structure fairly cheap and be off the grid.